What's going on guys? Back again with another video. Today's video, I'm actually going to be um, planting some seeds, more seeds actually. We have our setup here. Here's a packet of seeds that will be that I will be putting in these trays. This is actually my microgreens tray. Um, if you guys didn't check out that videos yet, I actually harvested some microgreens. I tried it out. It was a test try. It took 15 days to harvest microgreens. And most of the seeds that I would like to plant today, we have cucumber, we have okra, I got some spinach, got some beets. I purchased three types of sunflowers. I have velvet queen, I have evening sun mixed colors, and I have dwarf teddy bear sunflower. This is a very interesting sunflower. I've never seen it before. Picked it up at Walmart for just 50 cents, so stay tuned for that. These are the seeds V um, and I actually got from our garden, from last year's garden. We got some more canna lilies and some more zinnias. We got some Spanish lavender, some swamp milkweed. So that being said, let's jump right into planting these seeds. So first, I'm going to gather my soil. I'll be using miracle Grow potted mix. Add a little extra perlite to this. The weather is actually nice today. Should be hitting 70s. So first, what I'm going to do is just add my soil. Now that I did that, uh, my next step, I'm just gonna push it down, make it nice and even, and then I'm just gonna water this a bit. I actually purchased me this um, sprayer, pump sprayer from, it's a three gallon pump sprayer from Tractor Supply. Alright, first seeds, I think I'm going to plant the three sunflowers that I purchased. All, all three of them actually cost 50 cents each. Let's start with the Velvet Queen. I'm going to just go for it and plant all of them. There you have it guys, our first batch of seeds are down. Next what I'm going to do is just sprinkle some uh, soil over it. Next we're just going to water it a bit. First one is complete. Let's uh, put this in a much better spot. All right, y'all, we're back. Um, so we just finished with our sunflowers. We have our tray. We're just going to fill it with our soil. All right. Then we're just gonna press it down. All right, we've got our soil nice and wet. What we're planting next are some um, Black Eye Susans. What I'm gonna do is just sprinkle, sprinkle them on the... And that should do it. Right there, that's our uh, Black Eye Susan tray. And what we're gonna do is just gonna sprinkle some soil on the top, put our seeds back away. You can't forget to water. One more step, um, knowing that I actually didn't have a, a packet to label that with, I'm gonna, just going to use tape and just label it real quick. So these are Black Eye Susans because when they germinate, I won't know like what's what. So it's good to label your what you're, what you're planting. So there we have it for our Black Eye Susans. I'm just going to put this to the side and we're going to move on to our next tray. 
stay tuned y'all all right guys i'm back so grabbing my um tray i actually purchased this tray from home depot it's by fairy morse pro hex professional seed starting tray what i'm gonna plant in these trays are my vegetables and let's add our cotton mix all right guys we have our pot and mix set i'm going to put it back into this the bottom trays but moving on we're just gonna quickly water each cell so now that we have our cell uh, well watered i'm going to start with my beets i have with me here my little soil tool here what I'm actually gonna do here is we can take a closer look of the seeds. I'm actually just gonna put uh, maybe three uh, seeds per cell. Alright y'all, so we got half of the tray completed, planted it, we actually planted it with some beets. Um, I got my little, my helper here. Um, pretty much the next tray, the next cells we're going to do is spinach, so stay tuned for that. So we just completed our first 72 cell seed starting tray. In this tray, we added some spinach. beets and spinach, right? We're gonna put this in a safe spot and then we're gonna move on to our next tray. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, guys, we're back for this seed starting tray. I'll be planting okra and cucumbers. All right, guys, we got our soil ready. Next step we're going to do is give it a quick water. You know, I felt like I could have just purchased my own seeded cucumbers and get my seeds from that. But this is actually another great alternative to getting your seeds. So yeah, let's, let's begin adding our seeds to our tray. Alright guys, so back again. So real quick, I totally forgot that this uh, kit here, this tool kit, plant tool kit that I purchased from Amazon. Um, one of the things that it came with are plant labels. But V came across these because I totally forgot that it came with them. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually just label these with, and our first label is going to be cucumbers and okra so we're back where we left off with and we're actually going to um, finish off our spinach seeds because we have some more space in this um, cell here plant cell so we filled all our trays or all our cell in the tray and in this tray we have cucumbers okra and spinach all right guys so here we have another tray So we have some swamp milkweed. So these swamp milkweeds we actually picked up from our garden. That's it for this tray. Uh, let's move on to our next tray. Stay tuned. Um, in this tray, I am actually going to plant 
some Spanish lavender. I actually got the Spanish lavender from my friend's dad. Um, shout out to Owen. Alright guys, so pretty much we're just gonna mist our tray real quick. Alright, we have our tray well misted. Alright guys, we have our Spanish lavender, I think. Alright guys, so here we have it ourselves, or another tray. Um, in this tray, we're actually going to plant some more canna lilies. If we take a closer look, these are what the seeds look like. And we're just going to place them nicely. And also, these are like their pods that they came in. We did harvest these from our um, front yard garden that we had last year.